Hey what's up guys so in my previous video I got a request from a viewer to show how you can arrange elements in a circle form or on a circle so in this video I'm going to share with you some of the approaches to achieve this and hopefully you will find these to be helpful okay let's say we have this document and we want to arrange the elements let's say this star on a circle the first thing would be to just center the main circle this is going to serve us as a you know background guide for this and uh, we are just going to align it at the center then make sure that your element design element is aligned center actually aligned horizontally and it is position ahead and the location where you want it so now the circle the diameter of the circle uh, will depend upon your background circle that you have so you know make the background circle as much as you want depending upon your requirement how much uh, you know, the arrangement or you can say that uh, how much big you want your these arrangement of the stars or the design elements so this is the first step to do just make the background circle to be the desired value that you want anyway then we are going to apply a star shape here not this one uh, new star shape that is going to serve us as a guide. So I'm just going to create a star shape press the shift key to be, make sure that it is the perfect star and then simply align this one at the horizontal as well. Then make sure that the inner radius here at the top is just zero and let's just align it again and let's say let's just make it six instead of five points let's make it six points and then after that make sure that you align it again because 6 is the even number and it will give us a perfect alignment at the center so let's say if it is just 5 or 7 or something odd and then you try to align it it will be slightly off center so make sure that the number of points you have as 6 and then you can align it then you can just simply press the control key and scale it up and make sure that you press the shift key as well so that you keep the proportions so control shift and then scale it up now these lines are going to serve us as a guide okay let me just hide this one and uh, show you the very obvious way of you know aligning these stars on any shapes so without any kind of guidelines so the obvious way would be just to create a copy of that star or whatever shape you have flip it vertically and then position it on the other side then you can just group them or don't group them that totally depends upon you and then you select both of these press ctrl j to copy them and try to rotate it and try to give it a distance between both elements like that so that can work but if you create a um, press ctrl j and create multiple copies sometimes you end up with something like this the ending star the last stars are going to overlap and you will just undo it a couple of times again try to adjust the size of one star and then create a copy of it flip it recently so that is a kind of like a hectic repetitive process which uh, is going to consume most of your time so if you want to avoid that this is how you would do so i'm just going to make this star guidelines visible now what I'm going to do is just flip this guideline so currently you can see that I have this uh, circle here at the top here of this guideline star so when I flip it vertically this circle appears towards the bottom so which means that our star is flipped now what we want is to increase the number of these lines in our guideline star so I'm just going to increase it as much as possible so currently you can see that we have a distance between uh, the two sides you know two sides of the star towards the left and the right and whenever you are satisfied with the distance left and right you can leave it there and if you are not you can just keep on increasing and uh, once you are satisfied with the distance that is okay to for you then what I'm going to do is just simply select the star and at the top using this black arrow key and at the top you have this option enable transform region click it and you will get this small circle here 
just drag it down here and as soon as it snaps here at the center you get this vertical green and horizontal the red lines just leave it there like that and if you are uh, you know not seeing those guidelines make sure that you have these snapping enable snapping option is checked and these are the options that uh, you would like you know to be checked so once you're done with that then you press ctrl j to copy it and then rotate it like that and give it kind of like you know try to give it similar kind of space on the left and the right as we have the original one so this is just eyeballing it and then you can create a couple of copies press ctrl j a couple of copies again and you will end up something like that now again we got a problem here this star shape the last star shape is overlapping with our this one so it means that this method is also not perfect it might mark in some instances but it is not a perfect method so i'm just going to delete all of these except the top one and bring back that star guideline okay now i'm going to show you a perfect way of doing it and for that you will have to use calculator as well so one thing that you need to remember is that any circle shape has 360 degrees of angles interior angle it's ma it is made up of you know 360 degrees if you add all angles so that is something that you need to mind so i'm just going to bring back that text that we have earlier so just remember we have 360 degrees for a circle now let's bring back those guidelines now you need to use the number of guidelines that you have for the star for example here we have 17 so for 17 which means that our circle is being divided into 17 equal parts so if i just bring the calculator here and divide 360 by 17 i get this number that is 21.176 uh, this long number so just round it up to 21.17 okay so i'm just going to write here 21.17 so this is the number that we want remember this number 21.17 select the star create a copy of this one make sure that you have this you know actually before creating a copy make sure that you have this you know this that the one that we have checked enable transform region this center circle is at this center this is very important and then once you create a copy of this one don't rotate it put that number here 21.17 put it into the transform and put it in the rotation field so 21.17 put it there and then without deselecting anything press ctrl j a couple of times and you will get perfect arrangement of elements at a perfect distance you can see that our last element or the last design is not overlapping and all of these seem to be at a perfect distance so that's how you can create a perfect looking you know circular arrangement of design elements of the star if you want let me show you another example here okay so this was a star shape that was a geometric shape let's say we have a shape that is not a geometric shape let's say we have a you know flower decorated flower element and let's say we want to create a floral wreath so for that purpose again we need to make sure that our design element is according to our size here like that and uh, if you have to adjust it you can adjust its position and if you have to rotate it you have to be very careful let's say i might want to you know slightly rotate it but before i rotate it just look at the transform panel here you see in the rotation field you see zero degrees so if i just try to adjust it you know maybe change it slightly like that you will try to make it like that and adjust its position you will see that we have a very small rotation here 1.6 degree it's no longer zero degrees and that can cause some problems for you and in order to avoid that just right click it ungroup it and then right click again without deselecting it right click again and then group it again and once you group it again you will see that that degrees or you know number that was previously here 
is gone now you have zero degrees and now it is perfect for us to use to rotate it around this circle so again you have to make sure that the number of copies you have of these guidelines is uh, according to your likeness if you want some kind of space here like that you can do it but i like the way it was before you know the boundary of the guidelines is actually touching the element itself so i'm pretty happy with that and then i'm going to select that again actually we need to uh, know the number here of it so currently we have 11 divisions so we need to divide 360 by 11 so 360 divided by 11 is going to give us 32.72 so we need to rotate it to 32.72 degrees so select the design element and make sure that you have that this smart circle that you got after enable transform region so make sure that it is at the center and then press ctrl j to copy of this uh, you know this design element and put that number here in the iteration field so 32.72 and just press ctrl j again and again and again now you know until you end up filling the circular areas and now you can hide the background hide the guidelines and you get a perfect beautiful breath of flowers like that at the perfect distance from each other so guys that's how you arrange these design elements in a perfect circular formation and hopefully you have found this video to be helpful if so make sure that you like the video and let me know in the comments below and do subscribe as well and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching